I have started printing my carbon fiber parts. Say build stop. super excited with how these are turning out. Like this 3DX carbon polycarbonate material is printing really nicely. Here's the dropouts. You can see I've added some hexagon pattern on there just to add some little design to it because it's 3D printing and you can. I'm not really a graphic designer, I'm an engineer, so that's about the best I could come up with for art, but that looks kind of cool. And then the rear brake mount here. These parts are printing really nicely so far. Pretty, uh, pretty dense, pretty heavy, but that's intended because they need to be quite strong. So there they are. Look at that. How neat is that? Super excited. I've got another part in the printer right now. And then, uh, then it's just two more parts to print and that'll be pretty close to, uh, being able to start building the real thing. Here's the start of the head tube. And this print took about eight and a half hours to complete. And here is the completed head tube. Just like with the other parts, this printed basically perfectly. I'm really pleased with how it came out. The embossed logo and the hexagon detail looks really cool and I think it's going to work great. The bottom bracket was the largest part and took the longest to print. Unfortunately, with the first go around, I ran out of material about 95% of the way through, so I would have to reprint this part. Here are all the prototype parts that it took to get to this point. And now I can do a test assembly of the whole frame with the final parts. Everything is fitting together and looking great, except for the bottom bracket, which didn't quite finish, so I will have to go back and reprint that. Now I move on to some finer detail work. Here I want to fill in these holes in my down tube. To do this, I will put some tape on the inside of the hole and then fill it in with epoxy and let it cure up. The epoxy I'm using is 3M Scotchweld DP420. It's at least what one other bike manufacturer is using to assemble their frames, so if it's good enough for them, it's probably good enough for me. Sanding the seat stays with Scotch-Brite here to dull the surface finish so all of my tubes will have a sort of uniform matte finish. Next, I need to mark and drill holes in the down tube and seat tube for the water bottle cage mounts. I designed these quick little parts in SolidWorks that I will 3D print and on the back side there will be a 5mm heat set insert pressed in so they'll have metal threads to hold the water bottle cages in place.
The down tube has a ribbed, stepped texture from the heat shrink tape used for compaction in the manufacturing process. So I need to sand that off to have a nice smooth finish. I start with about 120 grit sandpaper and progressively work my way down to 2000 and then I think I even did 5000 grit sandpaper to have a really nice smooth finish. And the last job for today is to coat the mating surfaces of the assembly jig with PVA mold release. I anticipate there will be some uh, epoxy squeegee runoff from the assembly procedure and I really don't want to glue my frame to the assembly fixture. <music>